or a transmission, I need to be distracted by your privates dangling about. Now, when I go to the store to buy an air conditioning filter, I'd rather not have to look at your moneymaker, amigo. I'm glad you are proud of it. But when people of Vice City are in a quickie mart, they should be able to have a simple financial transaction without seeing your fire hose. Are you with me? Sorry, Maurice. That's okay. Just try to behave. I think the sun must have got to you or something. Yes, maybe that's it. Uh, Maurice, if I may, you have a fine show here, and, and I'm glad to be on it. But everyone within the sound of my voice and smell will die in the fires of doom. It is written, TV is trash, radio is trash, our newspapers are run by Canadians with an agenda. Our very way of life is threatened. We formed this great state to play golf, and I'll be damned if any weirdo hippies are going to tell us we can't fill in wetlands and make a... Make myself as bad as the boy's father, or do I break the little boy's heart and ruin his life so that he ends up a nudist or a freak or something? It's a difficult question, Jan. A very difficult question. Is it right to lie? Close or a lie, Maurice? No, Barry. Clothes are a way of keeping warm and not getting arrested. No policeman has ever hit me with his trunch. I'd like to hit you back to hell, you sicko. Your filth. Human form of vermin. A blight on a fine society. These need delivery. How? Pizza's for you. My statue to pay homage. Pastor Richards, as a human being, I have to say, I find your philosophy, or cult, or whatever it is, utterly and completely appalling. Why, thank you. I knew you'd understand. I mean, you seem to want to build a religion around yourself and some 1950s vision of America. It's the 1980s, man. And one-man worship me cults are not allowed, my friend. Exactly. As I say in the great book, many are called, but unless you have a good credit rating, go screw yourself. You're burning hell. Ay, por favor, shut up. But Barry, what are you doing? I'm lonely, Maurice. Lonely, and I need some bodily contact. Get behind. Get back behind that panel. Don't be shy. Please. We've all got one. That means I'm happy. Hey, stay away from me. I'm a celebrity. Oh, good lord. Hide yourself, boy. I warn you, I'm armed and I'm not afraid to use it. We've all got one. Look how free I am. Mmm. The fan feels so good. I feel you. Hey, hey, Pastor Richards, please, put the gun away. Put it away. No. I am the sole judge of truth and decency. Get back, heathen. Get back. I love you all. Evil doer. Die, devil. Dios mio, you shot him! There's blood and pubic hair all over the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, it is complete pandemonium here on pressing issues with me, the multi-award winning and soon to be executed Maurice Chavez. Deliver these. Are you alive? Stop the bleeding, it's, it's down there. Uh, do I have to? Can't you get someone else? Uh, ja, ay, Dios mio, she's fainted. No, hold it harder. Oh, that's so good. I need mouth to mouth. Maurice, please. I might die. Um, okay. Excuse me, I'm only doing this to save your life. I don't want to. Thanks. I'm getting cold. Quickly. It's okay to use tongues. Ah, get off of me! I'm happily divorced! Shall I send him to hell, Maurice? Yes! I mean, no! No, you psychotic lunatic! Put that gun away! Don't point it at me! Or your what, son? Do you think I'm scared of your conventional lily-livered morality? You think you can tell me what to do? You think it's wrong for me to have five concubines to spread my genes, or to use money from the statue for building my own palace in Hawaii? You think that's wrong, do you, son? Do you? <laughs> Oh, Mr. Pastor, it's all right. I think it's very right. Very right indeed. You're the boss. You're in charge. You're the king. Damn right I am. Now, I'll tell you about morality. Morality is what I say is right, and immorality is what I say is wrong. You gotta understand this. <clears throat> oh, uh, I do. Oh, I'm bleeding. I need a proctologist. Shut it. Now. Next question. Ask me anything. Ask me anything you want. Yeah, to, well, I'd love to, but it seems that that is about all we have time for, actually. The thing is, you see, this is public radio, and every once in a while we need to... Mister, deliver these pronto. A vamos, amigo. This. You're on pressing issues, and in this show we discussed morality. I think we made a lot of progress and really came together. I'm Maurice Chavez. Bye. Uh, please, don't kill me. I hope you were enjoying pressing issues. I certainly was. Yes, it's almost as interesting as listening to you, Jonathan. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Michelle. It is, isn't it? 
Before we let you get back to the show, I thought you'd like to know VCPR has managed to raise $30 this hour, which should keep us on the air for another 15 minutes at least. Thankfully, due to the generosity of the people at DeLeo and Furax, the fascinating show Legal Review will still run, but now back to the pressing issues. Actually, before we let you get back to the show, I'd like to say something. I know that public radio may not seem very important in an era of poverty and famine and immense personal greed, but I can assure you it is. And not just because I say so. Look at the facts. 15 of the last 37 American presidents and 47 vice presidents have appeared on VCPR in the last month. 33% of all Nobel Prize winners started out in public radio. Without public radio, we would never have discovered gravity or the pizza or the fact that a lot of people love to hear themselves rattle. Anyway, sermon over. I hope you folks at home understand how passionate we are about public radio, and it has nothing to do with the fact I got kicked off the networks. That was very moving, Jonathan. Back to pressing issues. Where is the creep? Put him on! Hello. As you may know, you're on VCPR, and this is Maurice Chavez. That is, I am Maurice Chavez. That's Chavez, not Chaves or Chavis. This isn't a game show. Sorry about the upbeat opening. This isn't a game show. It's a political and social debate on free radio, without adults. And I'm still Maurice Chavez. Hi. Next up on Pressing Issues... You again? Well, deliver these quick, pal. Issue of perception. <clears throat> These are optimistic times we're living in, a time of go-getters and doers. Our hero is the entrepreneur, the shaker and the maker. Positive thinking, we are told, is everything. Think it, and we can do it. Or can we? Let's press the issue. Now, personally, some days I wake up and I look out the window and I think it's great to be alive. Other days, like payday or my ex-wife's birthday, I want to hide under the pillows and cry. But that's me. A man of contradictions, as my therapist said. He was a young kid. But whatever. I'm Maurice Chavez. And on our panel right now, we've got three very contrasting views about the issue of positive thinking. On my right, I have gothic artist, vampire hunter, and, his words, man of the night, Constantinos Smith. Constantinos, hello. Greetings, mortal. I hope this is good. I'm missing the same as to be here. You don't sound excited to be here. No, man. I'm mind-numbingly depressed. It's great. Okay, I'm going to have to interrupt you there. And on the left, I have Positive Thinker Extraordinaire, a man who dragged himself up from the gutter, Jeremy Robar. Hey, the ghetto, not the gutter. I didn't live in the gutter. I lived in the ghetto. I'm a survivor, not vermin. I'm from the streets. Okay. Hey, I can teach you how to be a survivor, too. All of you. I can help everyone. I've got what they call a gift of communications. I can help you all realize that gift. Make something of yourself. Realize your dream. I'm like a high school counselor. I'll show you your potential. It's easy. All you have to do is follow my simple program on audio cassette or VHS. OK, OK, not right now. This isn't a commercial. And if you're not going to underwrite the station, I can't let you read these blatant plugs. People pay for that. Hey, everything in life is an opportunity. When I was in jail, I got the idea for my current business. And look at me now. I got offices in Vice City, Bogota, Lebanese, and Jamaica. If I can do it, I can help you make something of yourself. You could be just like me, a success. Hey, enough, enough, no more. Not a word from you until you are called upon again. Mister, deliver these pronto. Uh, vamos, amigo. I'm warning you, this is my show. You shut your mouth. Shut it now and keep it shut. Do not push me, you shiny suited prick. Do not push me. Hey, you have to dress to impress. I cover that in my program. People make judgments on who you are based on your appearance. Scientists say we form 98% of our opinions on a person in the first day of second we meet them. Hey, and if scientists say it, it must be true. I teach you how to live that. Enough. This is pressing issues. Enough now, OK? Enough. Please, no more. OK, my last panelist is someone without a plan to sell, without a program, but with a beautiful message. So it says here. Vice City Civilian of the Year for 1985, Jenny Louise Graham. Hi, Maurice. This is such a lovely studio. Thanks. How are you doing? Great, great. In fact, I'm fantastic. Did you see the sunrise this morning? It was gorgeous. I've been smiling all day ever since. <laughs> OK. Now let's get with the policy of ladies first. And since you seem to be the most pleasant person here, Jenny, 
Let's start with you. You seem like a very happy person. Oh, I am. <laughs> really? Why? Well, life's great, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, good things come my way because I hold each one close because I deserve it. I bet you wouldn't be so cheery if you had the black plague. Jenny's living in a fictional world. Goths like me, we see the world for what. Oh. I know, Maurice. I am. Any particular reason? Yeah. What? There's only one thing good about life. Uh -huh, and what's that? Death. Death? Yeah. And dying. That's good, too. And black. And the moon. At least when you're dead, you can go around as an astral body and visit places like New Orleans. I love New Orleans. It's really hot and depressing. Oh, death is good! Is it? Yeah! What? I if you're going to inherit a lot of money? Yeah, no, I mean, yes, but also if you can be positive and upbeat about things. I mean, like my parents were brutally murdered a few years ago. Yeah, and I was really bothered, but I kept smiling and I got a lot out of it. I'm a much better person today having dealt with that. They were killed so I could have a great personal experience, and I see that now. Lucky bastards. I wish someone would kill me. Then I could hang out in a graveyard all the time instead of just on weekends. I know I'm really lucky to have the opportunity to learn about life. You can't control everything in life, so start a day with a smile and you'll end a day with one. What do you start a day with, Constantinos? Usually with a pint of blood, it does. Then I light some candles and cry. <laughs> Okay, moving on before we're all sick. No, Maurice, I do, because I won't be constrained by you. Life is cheap, man, and then you die. If you prepare for the afterlife now, you will be able to summon spirit. That's the truth of the pentagram, man. <clears throat> How profound. You've obviously got a lot of important things to tell the world. The world is a lie, man. Only Get these delivered nice and hot. Very much like Vlad Dracul, born in 6 Euro, 1431. <laughs> You're scaring me. I wish you would smile and be happy. Okay, right. This isn't going that well. Uh, look, um... Hey, can I say something? No. I'm still pissed off with you, you shoulder-pad-wearing shyster. Hey, hey, hey! Back down, Buster, before I bust your ball. No confrontation. As they say in the movies, I'm a man of peace. I'm done killing. Work with me. What are you? A broken nose? Some speed in your eye? You're pushing me, man. I'm Maurice Chavez. I know who you are. You used to be a clown. I saw you at a bar mitzvah once. You had a great act. What, did you get tired of kids kicking you in the shin? Still, you were a first-class talent. I was? Yes, yes, great. But you lacked something. I did? Yeah, confidence, friend, confidence. You were all shot up with nerves. I'd like to be all shot up with embalming fluid. That can be arranged. We're talking about me, not Mr. Constantino Smith. Yes, confidence. It's where it all begins. Positive thinking. What are we talking about today, Marcus? I forget. Not here now, violence. Uh, that nutty guy without any clothes. Yes, you're right. Positive thinking. Exactly, friend. We're talking about you, Maurice Chavez. You couldn't cut it as a clown, but you're great, and I mean great, as a public radio host. It takes a lot of work to be uppity and self-important all the time. Every cab I go in, the guys love you. Thanks. Hey, don't thank me. Thank yourself. You've learned something. Then you started something, and now you're doing it. That's what it's all about. It is? Yes. You thought your way to success. It's a three-step program based on studying successful people. Like me. Or maybe learning start doing is a little too intense for you. Maybe you should just think, hold that thought, complete. I never had anyone complain about that program. Stop that. Hey, I engage with you, friend, and you're exchanging with me. I cover this in my second tentative action as practiced by successful people like salesmen or prostitutes, and the other is a negative action as practiced by failures like winos and judges. What? Stop interrupting me. You gotta open your ears and close your mouth. It's very important. I tell my old lady that all the time. I say, hey, I don't want to hear no complaining. I come home with piles of cash every night, and all you do is bitch. The learning starts in here and ends when we open this. Doing is a whole other story, but we'll come to that. Now, all you have to do is call me right away at 866-434-SELF, and for just one monthly payment, I will change your life forever. I promise you. I'll supply you with all the materials you'll need to completely change the way you see the world. Guaranteed. Oh, it's a stop. How? Pizza's for you. I don't need for Marshall. 
Hey, that's a great idea. Listen, friend, I mean this in a friendly way. Debating is a yes or no proposition. You need to open your mind to the maybes. We're discussing like friends, not debating like enemies. You see the difference? Yes, I do. I think it's so much fun to be on the radio. I'd listen more, but someone stole my radio when they killed my foster family. I hate everyone, apart from the undead. They're the only ones you can really get along with. Well, that's a start. You'll never get a promotion unless you move faster this time. That's so great! I like puppies! I saw some dead puppies once. Uh, Constantinos? I've noticed you have a lot of negative thinking. Why the goth lifestyle? Well, some say life is a tea party for zombies. Also, when you only wear black, everything matches. In fact, I'll keep wearing black until something darker comes along. It's a known fact that the best poetry is written when you're horribly depressed. Hey, listen, I wrote a haiku. Oh, the red daisy, flowers, sunshine. Yay, sunshine. <laughs> you sound like you'd enjoy my program, Motivate. Demonstrate, then motivate again. Nobody ever complained about that program. You hug people and you laugh like you never laughed before. Let's get back to the topic at hand, eh? I've had enough of this weirdness. Jenny, let's start with you. How do you maintain such a positive outlook on life? It says in your bio that some awful things have happened to you. I don't think anything awful has happened to me. But it says your, 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 your parents were brutally murdered. Mommy? Where's Mommy? She's just fine. She's probably taking a nap. <laughs> You're like my bad doll, Mr. Livingston. He's a bad doll. Bad doll. Not like my other dolls. My mom's great, though. Thanks for asking. Okay, wow. You're psychotic and ghost up to the eyeballs on tranquilizers. If it's psychotic to be happy, then I guess I am. <laughs> a stalagmite grows an inch every thousand years. That's slow and painful. That's how I want to live my life. If you can't see the misery, stay out of the kitchen. You may have noticed this on tattoo. It's Egyptian and represents the breath of life given in the animal. It's my key to eternal life after death. Hey, why don't you carry your keys in your pocket like everyone else? Because only that which is burned or scratched into your flesh comes with you to the afterlife. <laughs> I bet my ex-wife will be there waiting for me in the afterlife. The bitch is crazy. Hey, can you put a hex on my ex-wife? Like some kind of spooky voodoo or something? I do dabble in the dark arts and magic. I ain't talking about magic like pulling a rabbit out of your ass or pulling quarters out of your ears. I'm talking voodoo. You know, dance around with a chicken voodoo. That bitch was a grass. Why does everyone assume that just because we're gods, we're weird? No wasting time this time, pal. College may have something to do with it. When is the last time you've seen the sun? It's been over 18 years since I was out in open sunlight. I only leave the house if it's raining or if I need milk. Exactly. Anybody Listen, I was just like you at one time, except I didn't wear makeup. That would get you a firm beating where I grew up. I'm happy to give you a sample of my course, Learn, Start Doing. I promise you'll run out and buy some colored clothing and listen to some music other than people droning on and on for half an hour about how much it rains in Manchester. Life is what you make of it. Look at me. I got a condo, a hot tub, a lot of girls. Listen, you're really bringing me down, which is hard to do. I've been to the other side many times. Sometimes I barely come back. It's all about astral projection. Like right now, I'm projecting myself into the women's bathroom at the fairgrounds. Hey, that's a good trick. Maybe you and I should go into business together. Oi, look, I've had enough of this love fest. You, you're a motivational gunman. And you, you are a maniacally depressed loony with anemia. You guys should hate it. These need delivering, pal. You're so super. Listen, I just wrote another poem. If I had a flower for every time I think of you, I'd walk forever in a garden. And I just wrote a poem, too. Shut up, you weird, pathetic people. This is my... Anyway, let's take a break. We'll be right back after this important information from Vice City Public Radio. That's pressing issues here on VCPR, Vice City Public Radio. If you haven't given money to VCPR and you're listening to the station, you are a thief. That's right, Michelle. You might as well throw a brick through the window and loot the place. How selfish you people are. This is public radio, serving the public with everything that is important, like me. So come on, keep us on air. It's really important. Send us your money. I'm going to say this over and over until you do. Yes, Michelle is known for her begathon tantrums. She cares about this station, unlike you. Think of how much money you spend on drive through fast food and commemorative plates. Take that money right now and send it direct to me, Jonathan Freelo, Starfish Island, Vice City. Now, back to the show with Maurice Chavez, the asshole. You're correct, he is an asshole. I'm Maurice Chavez, welcome back. I used to be a performance clown, 
Now I'm running a debate show. Funny how things turn out, eh? <laughs> or is it? That's the question, you see. If we look upon life as a positive experience, do we make it any better? That's what we're discussing right now here on Pressing Issues. Free radio with free ideas. Just keep those donations pouring in. Don't sell out to corporations. We all need a voice. Really, we do. And today, right now, we're giving a voice to three very different people discussing positive things. A healthy mental attitude. We've got a goth depressive. We've got a very happy orphan. And we've got a motivational speaker with a number of systems. So let's start with you, Constantinos, you strange, creepy creature of darkness. Have you got a positive mental attitude? I like to think so. Oh, really? Misery and suffering, it's everywhere. These need to live. Actively want a fatal disease. What bad can possibly happen to me? You could win the lottery. The lottery? That's for people with hope. I don't enter the lottery. You could... <laughs> Shaggy dog with long, greasy, straight hair. You know, Chavez, this weird goth guy, he's got a point. I mean, in many ways, what he's talking about is covered in my three-step program, Tape 17. Motivate, demonstrate, then motivate again, part nine. Facing home truths. You see, we all have to face up to a few home truths. I'll never be prom queen. Jenny will never have her parents. You'll never... <laughs> isn't covered in your three-step program. What don't you talk about in your library of Congress-sized tape cassette library? Whatever we talk about, grief, goths, depression, changing lives. Who are you? What have you done that's so great? You wear a cheap suit. Your hair is great stuck rigid with spray. Your breath stinks of whiskey. You, you look like you sell drugs to people. You're a joke, buddy, a bad joke. Oh, now this is getting personal. I come on your cheap ass show, I spam. You'll never get a promotion unless you move faster this time. Thousands of VIPs in order to spread a message of hope. And this is how I get treated. I get insulted by a man with dandruff. I get slandered by a guy who couldn't amuse a birthday party of nine-year-olds. I get attacked by a guy who works on a volunteer radio. This is not volunteer radio. I earn a salary. How much? How much do you earn, Chavez? Big man, tough guy with a microphone and a cheap jacket, and a look that says my highest hope in life is to work in a bookstore? I'm a go-getter. You're a cheapskate. You're a fraud with nothing to tell people, and no way of helping people. Excellent. I'm really loving this. I hope one of them gets killed. Shut up, dork. All the bunnies are stabbing each other. Shut up. I have a condo, I have a hot tub, I vacation in Aruba. Vacation is not a verb, moron. Yes, it is, because I'm a VIP. I'm very important. And I'm a teacher, a wise man, not an opinionated adult, a naysayer sitting on the side of life criticizing others while all he can do is get a crappy gig down at a moron station. A man who lives with his mother. I'm between apartments. And I'm between mansions, Buster, from helping people. Do you know how good it feels to be me? Do you have any idea, any idea at all, how great it feels to wake up and realize you're a rich and talented, important person and in a waterbed with mirrors on the ceiling and more girls than you can imagine? And every time I step outside the door, I can choose which car to drive. If I choose to drive, I have five chauffeurs. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Sweep it under the carpet. That's my motto. <laughs> if I can't see it, it's not there. <laughs> Look, I hate to burst your bubble here, but I know you live in a very small apartment overlooking the gas works. You ain't a big shot. You ain't even a medium shot. You're an asshole, a creepy jailbird who doesn't know... Hey, I have a message. I can save lives. I'm a savior, my friend. I have a gift of communication, and this is how I get treated. I get insulted, I get paired with a pair of retards, a guy who's afraid of the sun, and a girl don't... How? Pizza's for you. Sweetheart, I can get you something much better. These pills are very strong today. Maybe I took too much accidentally. Oh, well. <laughs> this chick is out of her mind. I thought I was going to get to help people on the radio, to demonstrate my program, to help you, Chavez. Those people on the phone said you were a desperate, lonely man on the edge. Leave. Leave right now. Get out of my studio. Go get your own radio show. Go save some other people. Hey, I'm not leaving till I have the opportunity to save people and sell some tapes. You can call right now and send in the money order. Soon you can have a luxury condo in a waterbed and a suit made in Singapore based on the latest Italian style. Enough! Enough now! Shut up! Hey, vampire boy, I'll give you 20 bucks if you can put a hex on Chavez. Dark forces, I summon you to me. Banish these weaklings and mental inferior ones from my presence. Shut up! No, you little snotty-nosed prick. What? You're 
your shoes got lifts, Bust, I can tell. Hey, lift this, hairspray! Oh, my nose! Daddy, stop bleeding! This costs a lot of money. I'll sue you into jail, asshole. Stop fighting, please! I hate it when we fight. Can't we have a group hug? Hit me, man. I like it. Oh, my damn nose. Oh, stop crying, oh, baby oh, boy. Oh, Who are you gonna tell, huh? You think you can screw me? And that was pressing issues. I think we covered a lot of ground. We learned all about how to press the issue. And remember, if at first you don't get hurt, hit the guy very hard in the face with a paperweight. It just worked for me, and I feel like a million dollars. Let's tell you a little bit more about exactly how public radio is financing quality programs like pressing issues come on the air. Don't go away. That was Pressing Issues, and this is Vice City Public Radio. We hope you're enjoying the show as much as you're about to enjoy listening to me and Jonathan Freeloader. Hello, everybody. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Heartbroken, Michelle. Why, Jonathan? Why? Well, because it seems people just don't care anymore. I mean, where are people's priorities? We have campaigned tirelessly for public radio for literally months now. And